Hey, what's up guys? Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you know that we have teamed up with Mitchell and Ness to give you guys a special giveaway, which is in this bag. But I won't show you. No, I'm just playing. I'll show you. So, for anybody that doesn't know the history behind the number 8 Lakers jersey, Kobe Bryant wore number 8, winning 3 championships before the jersey switched to 24, where he won 2 championships right after it. Not much else needs to be said about Kobe Bryant other than he is one of the greatest of all time, and will go down in the history books up there with Kareem, Jordan, and probably LeBron, but that that's still up for debate. So in order to enter the contest, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and comment with your Instagram handle. Winners will be announced Friday, April 6th at 12 noon, so don't sleep. All right, before we go, guys, huge shout out to Mitchell and Ness for hooking us up with this Kobe jersey so we can hook you guys up. Until the next episode, I'm out of here. Peace. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Unbox. I'm your host, Brian. And today, instead of doing something that I know you guys become extremely accustomed to, we're going to be talking about jerseys. To let you know a little bit more about what we're going to be getting into today, I'm going to just hand this off to my guest right here. My name's Sade. I'm uh, from Mitchell and Ness. I've been with Mitchell and Ness for uh, a little over eight years. And, um, you know, I'm a jersey head. I'm a sneaker head. And uh, I, got a, I got a nice substantial collection. So I bought some pieces out to share with you guys. Man, so far, right here, just on top of this table, you got some crazy heat right now. So I can't wait to see exactly what you brought as far as your top five. Definitely, and it's it's crazy that these these aren't in the top five, but you know, I, I got it's, it's more. We we still going up the mountain. <laughs> All right, man, you ready to get into this? Already, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, Zay, why don't you uh, let us know what your number five pick is for your top jerseys? All right, definitely. Um, number five. Um, you know, I'll definitely let people know I'm a trainer, dude. I love trainers. I love runners a lot more than I like basketball sneakers. So I'm going to definitely lean a lot more toward things that are more baseball and football inspired. So my number five, the top running back of all time is my man Barry Sanders. Wait, right hold here. up. Time out, Detroit man. Detroit Lions. So you're talking about whoa. the best running back of all time, yet he's your number five. Jersey-wise and... You know, sneaker-wise, he's number five. Um, however, as a running back in the NFL all time, this is my guy right here. Number number one on the running back, but number five on this particular list. Crazy nice jersey. He's got the you know heat press seal, you know silk screen letters on there and the numbers. Um, again, the letters up here stitched. Excuse me, and um, you know really really awesome jersey. Nice patch right there. This is from 1983 and. Um, you know, just a really, really iconic jersey. All right, so moving along in our countdown, we're at number four, and we got Dion the Goat Sanders. Number 21. Number 21, but number four on this list. My man, Neon Dion Sanders right here, number 21. This is when he was with the 49ers in um, 1994. Super, super team. My man, Ronnie Lott was on that team. Oh, man, we had so many people on that team. Um, obviously, Steve Young, Jerry Rice, uh, Tom Raff, and Roger Craig. I mean, we could go down the whole. We're talking about. Are we talking about like the very first super team? In the this NFL? is one of the first super teams. I won't say the very first because we could go in the seventies and the sixties. And my sports history is pretty solid. Um, but during that era of the early nineties, the late eighties, it was all about the 49ers. You know what I mean? This is what preceded the little Dallas Cowboys, little short little dynasty they had. Um, I have a lot of basketball jerseys, but these jerseys mean a lot more. They have a lot more depth to them. Um, with football jerseys, you get you know you get sleeves, you get you know letters that have you know something like this that had a shadow box on it. That's a real you know really really pops off the front of the jersey. This one right here definitely number four on my list is you can't go wrong. It has a bread combination. Um, you could put some gold with this. You definitely when you wear this, you want to wear a gold chain to kind because of, it's forty dollars. The you gold know. chain and the Deion Sanders bandana. Deion Sanders bandana. Deion you got, Sanders you got bandana. a rocket bandana. Yes, definitely. And a pair of nice dark Alpinas or something like that. But don't do a song <laughs> with MC Hammer while you have this ensemble. I'm feeling this rock side to side. Then you come inside. Don't even Google Great. that situation. <laughs> Great athlete. Questionable music career. Definitely. All right, guys. Rolling through our countdown. We're at number three. Before there was the Mike Vick Madden cheat code, we got the Tech Mobile Bo Jackson cheat code. You're not really good, you just got Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson also played professional baseball. Shut up, Joe, everybody knows that. Number three on our countdown, we got the 
what is that, Chicago White Sox Bo Jackson throwback? Definitely had to break out my man Bo. Um, continuing along the line of players that came out and introduced the world to some pretty dope trainers, um, got my man, the two-way guy, Bo Jackson. You know what we're doing right here, right? Y'all see that, right? Got the Bo Jackson Raiders. You got the Bo Jackson White Sox right here. My yeah. man was a dual sport threat. Main guys that, that you know excelled at being able to play two sports. Obviously, my man Deion Sanders, we just showed you that jersey, he was able to do it. Bo Jackson took it to a whole new heights and levels. Uh, he was a superstar in both. And um, I, I personally like this jersey. Um, this one is more because from my collection, um, the, the Raiders football jersey, I love it. Um, very good jersey. Uh, it just doesn't have as much detail as what the baseball jersey is going to give. I mean, we got like buttons. I have the Script Chicago coming off the front. The Script Chicago is, is the exact same Strip Chicago that's used on the front of the Chicago Bulls jerseys that Jordan wore in 1984. Um, so that's a really iconic script. Got patches on the sides. The lettering is, is really nice. It pops off the jersey. And unfortunately, his career ended pretty soon. Um, sooner than what he could, you know, build it out to, but either way, man, he's, he's an icon of sports forever. Okay, guys, moving ever so close to that number one spot, but we're at number two. What we got? Number two. Oh, man, I'm gonna go way back on y'all, man. I'm gonna pull out a classic right here. Wow. Right here. Got my man, 42, Jackie Robinson. 42, the number GOAT. Number 42, the GOAT. All right, this is from 1955. It's an all-wool jersey. Um, many people, your first introduction to this jersey was probably uh, through Spike Lee in the movie Do the Right Thing. He wore this um, throughout the entire movie and uh, he pretty much cemented this jersey as like a definite streetwear classic. Um, you know, that, that movie was a pivotal movie, especially in my time, uh, my generation growing up. That just showed like, you know, classic just street life every day you know summertime in the city it was in brooklyn but you could relate if you're from philly detroit la wherever that's just how like a typical day kind of went down you know and um seeing him wear this jersey in that in that movie and he had a pair of um pretty ill trainers on some night trainer threes that he wore um classic sneaker another again you know sticking with the trainer theme and um, in that movie, you also saw the uh, the Jordan 4s were in that movie in the classic shot of um, Bug Out. Somebody stepped on his foot. If, if you're a collector, this is definitely a jersey you want to have. Uh, no name on the back, felt letters, just classic, man. Making our way to the number one spot. We're not talking about practice, all right? We don't have any questions, but we do have the answer. The answer. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm a Philly dude. It's going to be by default that AI is definitely going to always be somewhere at the top of any list I'm dealing with. This is one of the top right there. This is the top of my, in, in my closet. I can't even, I'm like lost for words and stuff. Like, it's, you know, it's AI. What else can I say? Um, this jersey right here, this is a rookie jersey. Um, this came in a couple of different versions. We had, there was a red version and there was also a blue throwback um, to 1966. And uh, he wore that one on the cover of Slam. That's a dope jersey too. But this is the one. If you remember, there was this guy that wore this jersey right here. Young boy came into the league with this jersey on. He had his own sneakers. He had the he had the questions. The blue pearl toe questions and gave Jordan the wiggles. The first person that guy actually Jordan handed skates. Jordan a map because he had no idea where he was going. Okay guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Unbox. And I want to give a special thanks to Zay for coming through with some crazy retro heat, man. Appreciate that, appreciate that. Like we discussed in the beginning, you said that I could have every single one of these, right? They, um, I got these other versions that aren't really real. They like fake, like t-shirt oh, versions. We'll word. send you a box of those. You can hand them out and you can keep a couple of these. Shout out to Zay <laughs> from the stuff made from China. Thank you so much. <laughs> now nah, we're just playing. But anyways, guys, if you like content like this and you want to see more, make sure you drop us that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. In the comment section below, let us know what some of your favorite jerseys are that we might have missed on today's episode. I'm Brian. This is Zay. And until the next episode, guys, we out of here. Peace. Peace.